The legend and fact of Joan of Arc is an integral part of French history. Her narrative still commands fascination. At the age of 16, she began hearing voices from three Christian saints, St. Michael, Catherine, and Margaret. Her village in Dom Remy was located on the border between France and a consortium of English and Burgundy-occupied territory. In 1415, the Hundred Years' War between England and France entered a significant stage when England's King Henry V invaded France. Seven years later, following a series of decisive victories, the English controlled the majority of northern France, including Paris. In 1428, she approached a captain of the French garrison. She shared with him her vision of capturing occupied Rennes and reinstalling the French throne there to Charles VII. The disheveled young peasant girl was promptly sent home, but returned the following year and was allowed an audience with the king. Dressed in men's clothes and accompanied by six soldiers, she laid out her vision for France to expel the English invaders. Given France's desperate military predicament, she was granted a small army in April 1429 to accompany her to Orléans. She led a military offensive against the English army who had besieged the city since the previous October. Her will and uncompromising values inspired the French army to passionate resistance. They entered Orléans unopposed via the Eastern Gate. She personally led the charge in several battles and was wounded by an arrow to the shoulder on May 7th that was quickly treated. The following day, she returned to battlefield and the English retreated from Orléans. There persists many myths regarding the improbable heroine. She never actually fought in battle or killed an opponent. She accompanied her soldiers for inspirational purposes, waving a banner in lieu of weaponry. She was responsible for outlining military strategy, directing troop movements, and enforcing discipline within the ranks. The French army reached the gates of Paris, but were unable to free the city. The location of her mounted equestrian sculpture is where she was reportedly shot during the ensuing battle by a crossbow in the thigh. She was a fearless risk-taker whose luck and patron king would finally abandon her. Joan would be captured on May 23, 1430, when she led an unsuccessful attack upon the Burgundy army laying siege. She was sold to the English army. Charles VII refused to pay a ransom for her or intervene on her behalf. His indifference prompted the English authorities to burn her at the stake at the age of 19 in the old marketplace of Rouen. As the flames engulfed her, she shouted out prayers. Her sacrifice became a continued source of military inspiration. France would eventually be liberated from English control over the next 30 years. The Catholic Church recognized her as a saint in 1920.